Are you dead? What's up? Oh no, it's another prisoner! Freeze! Is this a uh, metal bearing boulder? Looks like it. Whoa! Easy does it. Oh my gosh! Where are you going? Oh man, I'm so glad that landed on its wheels and didn't explode. It's got a full tank of gas. Yikes. Timber! Oh, that's a big un. Uh, oh, oh, hey, oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Did I wake you up again with my chainsaw here being kind of loud? Well, I gotta, I gotta cut down some trees. We need some wood for a couple of projects. So, hey, come on down here. Get dressed. Come on down. Give me a hand with some of this wood, would you? Get it, wood, would you? Oh, I'm so funny. Okay, come on, hurry it up. We ain't got all day, you know. Let's go, 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 go. Hustle it up. But watch yourself. Watch out. Get behind me. Get behind me, quick. Woo. Ooh, that's a big one. No, not on Tommy the... T oh, darn trees. Anyway, oh, sorry. Watch out. Watch it. Okay, back it up. Back it up a little bit. There you go. Come on around. Come on behind me. That way you'll be safe. Okay. So, we got plenty of wood, and that's perfect timing because my chainsaw is now... Oh, gosh. Yep, broken chain. We're gonna have to repair that one and maybe find a new one. Uh, so, anyway, just pick up the sticks, grab the wood... And we have a project to do real quick here, and then we're going to be on our way on an adventure. All right, now that we have wood, let's go ahead and break it down into planks and sticks. And I think that ought to do. And with those sticks and planks, we are actually going to make something new here that we haven't made before. And that is a pine flag, which is five cloth and seven sticks. And that's going to give us a lovely flag that we can write on. And mark territory and do other cool stuff with like this. Watch this. We're going to put it right up here on our new fuel tanker. Watch yourself. We have uh, barbed wire there in front. Uh, and we'll put it right up here on the tank. We're going to give this a one quarter turn. And click it down. Yeah. Perfect. So you want the flag to aim in that direction. So when you're driving, the vehicle looks like it's waving behind you, right? And here's something you can do with these flags, which I did not know um, until someone told me we can do this. We can write on it, gas to go. That, my friends, is the name of today's mission. Gas to go. Look at that. <laughs> That's so great. That's a big flag, though, isn't it? Anyway. All right. So now let's go ahead and uh, make up a jerry can. Because we are a little bit short on uh, on fuel cans, gas cans. So now we have a pine jerry can. You know what? I'm just going to drop all the rest of this wood. What a waste. It's okay. Those trees will grow back. No big deal. They'll be back shortly. And now we're going to get the fuel out of the fuel uh, pump jack, which is currently full. And, oh, we only get one out of that? Oh. Well, that's kind of a stinker. Uh, and you know what? Let's just pour it right back in here. Turn that on. And in about 15 minutes, we'll have some more fuel. Very nice. Let's put that down. And let's grab the other two gas cans that we have. We're pretty much down to only these three gas cans left, guys. The two metal ones and the pine. Um, because we had to use two of them to make this thing, right? Yeah, so we're going to be on the lookout today for uh, more gas cans as well as fuel. We're going to be robbing um, all the local uh, fuel tanks. And cars, we'll be siphoning them from cars. Now, let me just see what we have here. This one's full. This one's empty. Let's go ahead and put fuel in our fuel tanker truck. And this is kind of interesting. Look, you got to point up toward the flag or up higher. Um, we don't want to put it in the re fuel reserve tank in the back. That's what we want that empty so that we can fill that up later. So this is what we want to do. Just dump it in the truck. So 79% gas in the vehicle. And why don't we go ahead and repair that other tank with the metal that we have. So now we have two 100% tanks. Let's put them down here. And an empty pine jerry can. And I'm going to put my bandana on my face so we don't get recognized since we're going to be robbing uh, several locations, probably gas stations, among other things. And uh, we want to do this incognito. Lots of cameras out there. Scorpion 7's watching, probably Big J, maybe even the military. And I think the first stop will be Scorpion 7, in fact. 
Because I'm pretty sure there's a couple of fuel tanks right out front. There's at least one, right? Hold on, actually, let's uh, let's hop out and take a look at the map. So our first stop will be Scorpion 7, where we'll fill up our fuel reserve from the tanks there. I think there's two tanks. Then we're going to cut back through Everett and hit Tacoma. Gas station right there, and there's a lot of metal here in these mountains. I want We need more metal. So we'll do a bit of mining, and then we'll probably have to come back here and, and, uh, and unload. So that's the plan. So why don't you uh, close your eyes, get a little shut-eye, and I'll wake you up when we get to Scorpion 7. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. All right. Wake up. Lock and load. We're passing through Everett right now, and we will be at Scorpion 7 in 22 seconds. It's right there, right around the corner. And speaking of Scorpion 7 and Big J Corporation, we have to get back on track and investigate this uh, zombie apocalypse thing. We know that there was a contract between these two companies. Right? Some sort of bioweapon contract, maybe? Oh, 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 fast runner, fast runner. Oh, hello. Huh. He was on me pretty quick, too, wasn't he? Ooh, what you got? Ooh, Viper, nice. I was hoping to get another Viper, at least another Viper magazine. Because I brought mine right there. Um, yeah, so we have to get back to investigating this uh, zombie apocalypse to find out who is responsible. Oh, no, not the ground. Bring him over here. There we go. Okay. Now, we just have to get the truck inside, park it over there by the fuel tanks, and transfer the fuel from the tanks into my uh, tanker truck. But I think before we do that, we should probably clear this place so that we don't get snuck up on and bit in the behind while doing our work. Well, this food is junk. Yeah, we might as well loot the place. Hey, what's this? It's a note. I'm sorry. So, so sorry. Our past bioweapon contracts were never used, so I didn't think twice about this one. If you're reading the... <gasps> I was right. It's a bioweapon. So that's what it was. It was a bioweapon contract. Oh, 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 whoa, fast runner. Oh, here comes more. Oh, I like this Viper a lot. <laughs> it's got automatic and semi-auto. Let's keep it on auto because that's fun. So, somebody left a note here. And that note wasn't here the last time we were here, was it? Somebody must have came back to do something. Maybe cover it up. And then they left that note there. Apologizing. Ooh, look at all the goodies here. Chemicals, we need that to make some stuff. We've got putrefaction tablets and lots of vaccines. Nice. All right. Well, we might as well grab this loot while we're here, right? Let's put in a fresh mag. Do I need biohazard bottoms? Nah, not right now. Oh, another magazine here. Viper mag. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to eat those vitamins right now, in fact. And then we'll head down to the basement. That's where the containment facility was. And they let out whatever the heck they had inside one of these canisters right there. Well, they didn't let it out. It kind of got out. Look at the chemicals. Oh, another Viper, man. Strip it. I love that new strip feature. And then bring it down. Bang. And let's combine some of these magazines. All right, awesome. Look at all those mags now, baby. Sweet. Okay, let's get out of here. This place gives me the willies. Freaking me out. See what I'm talking about with the cameras? This is why I have the bandana over my face. Wait, I do, right? Yes, I do. Okay, good. They have no idea who I am. I hope the blue skin doesn't give it away. Hey! Oh, this is where they do their weapons testing. <gasps> Rails! Rails for the railgun! The Shadow Stalker, nice! Thank you, Apocalypse Elves! And I think I've covered the entire facility. Oh, any coffee? <gasps> ah, darn it. Why don't the Elves bring coffee? And now we just have to drive the fuel tanker right in. And hopefully we don't blow a tire. With all this scrap metal and stuff around, I'm a little worried about that. Oh, oh boy! Oh, and we don't want <laughs> We don't want the fuel tank to Oh jeez, I just clipped that metal too. There's no gas in it in the fuel in the tank right now, so there's nothing to worry about. But the last thing we need is a gigantic explosion with us in the car. Alright. Here we go. Backing it up, backing it up. Good. Alright, hop back in. <laughs> okay, now you can hop out. Okay. Awesome. So we have an empty fuel reserve. 
Let's grab, let's use the, uh, we'll use the pine one right now to do the transfer. These are both full. So we get uh, 10, 10 refills out of this thing, right? And that's going to give us, okay, 20% per refill. 10% on the big ones, 20% on this. I'm just going to go ahead and fill it right to the tippity top. That's down 50%. And this is now full. Let's fill this up one more time and pour some into the tanker itself. Might as well just top it off. Just use it while we got it. Use it while we got it. Don't worry, the Apocalypse Elves will come back and fill these up. I have uh, verified that with Nelson, the, the overlord of the game. <laughs> All right, all of my cans are now filled with gas. The fuel tanker is filled, and so is the fuel tank on the truck itself. Perfect. Now we just have to get out of here one piece. If you would be so kind as to step out of the vehicle and guide me through. Thank you. Nice work. All right, get off the flagpole. Get back in here. Good job. Now let's go. We're going to head right back to Mad Cow Island first and then uh, use the gas that we have in the fuel tank to fill up our aircraft and then if there's anything left over we'll, uh, we'll fill up the cars too but I want to get all my aircraft filled up so we can start doing some more long distance uh, explorations alright heading over the bridge back at Mad Cow first stop er, the beach and our uh, otter. I almost said sandpiper. It's an otter. And I'm going to go ahead and fill up this tank. And our otter is now 100% full of gas. Awesome. Let's refill these cans. Down to 40% in the reserve. In the tanker. And we're going to try to fill this tank up as well in the sky crane. 33%, 58%, and this will do it right here. That's it. Fuel truck is now empty. Can't do much with the half-filled sky crane, so we're just going to top it off complete. And that will do it. Let's go see if our pump jack has fuel in it. Burp. And it's, oh, it's still empty, really. Well, that's kind of a stinker. All right, we'll have to let that go a little bit longer. So let's, um, yeah, let me get organized. I have a lot of stuff in my pockets that I want to empty out. Now, what in tarnation did I do with that stinking pickaxe? I knew it was around here somewhere. It's not, did I put it up? No, it's not up, no, it's not up there. Uh, what, what you waving at me for? What? Oh, it's over there! Right! Oh my... Oh, how can I forget? Oh, I'm so silly. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, it's, it's in this box, isn't it? Yeah, okay. All right, come on down here. Let me get in there. All right, good. Uh, it's right here? What? What the heck's wrong with you? It's over here. All right, good. <laughs> okay, now let's go. Oh my gosh, we're almost out of time. We gotta get over to Tacoma. Oh, it's done! Pump Jack! Pump Jack's done! Awesome. All right, we'll fill that up. And... Let's go bring it over to... We can put it in Tommy? Uh, no, we never really drive Tommy that much. I know what we can do. Let's bring it over to the, uh, to the boat. Out of the way, dear. All right, let's go put this gas in the uh, in Smurfette, the boat. Haven't been out in Smurfette in a while. 57%. There we go. Looking good, girl. All right, now it's time to rock and roll. To Tacoma we go. Strap in, you get your seatbelt on, right? Because I'm not stopping for nothing. All right, look sharp. We are at Tacoma right now, and we have... Oh, my gosh, we have very little time. Sun is almost down. Oh, is that a Jeep? <gasps> Green Jeep in the middle of the road. No way. Oh, I got to have that. I got to have that. Definitely coming back for that. Wah. All right, let's get close to some gas pumps. Back it up. Here they come. Let's use a little maple strike action. And... I'm not eating my something's eating my tanker truck, I think. If that thing explodes, I'm gonna be really upset. Oh! Oh cop! Here come the cops! I'm not going back to prison! Oh my gosh, I just shot a prisoner! <laughs> Ooh, who's that? Man! So many of them around here. 
Let me heal up. Sheesh, I didn't realize Tacoma was going to be so dangerous. It's one of the reasons I avoided going over to, uh, to Seattle. Because the place is just overrun. All right, but I think we're in the clear. But check that out, a green Jeep. <gasps> I gotta have it. All right, let's head inside. And, oh, nice, a new blowtorch. More cameras. It's all right, my face is covered. You know what, I'm gonna grab that blue flare because it matches my skin. I need food. Chips. Chips and cheese and chocolate bars. Perfect. Breakfast of champions. Anything in here? No. Whoop. Saw so something up there. Energy bar. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Why do they put stuff up on... These apocalypse elves, man, they make it difficult. Like, I have to jump around. Okay. Oh, let's have some chips. Okay. That's good enough to get through the next uh, few minutes here of what needs to be done. And that is to transfer the fuel from the gas pumps into the tanker is now full let's fill this up over here and then this one so we have two full gas cans and unfortunately there's no more gas cans around here that is a royal bummer is that guy dead are you dead what's up oh no it's another prisoner freeze no well, all right let's just go over here to the boulders and I'm going to bang away on him with my pickaxe and get some metal. <clears throat> this entire hill is covered in these boulders. Oh, perfect. Need lots and lots of metal. I want to make another pump jack, among other things. Is this a uh, metal bearing boulder? Looks like it. Whoa. Easy does it. Oh my gosh, where are you going? Oh man, I'm so glad that landed on its wheels and didn't explode. It's got a full tank of gas. Yikes. I'm gonna top off my tanker truck with gas since we're here. Just makes sense. So we're probably gonna do more runs like this in the future. This pump is down to one refill left. Hopefully the elves will fill it up for us. And now it's time to head back home. And I think I'll go through Seattle this time. All right, guys, we're just at the Kent Raceway to look for a gas can. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's bricks. I don't need bricks. Well, it was metal, though. Um, oh, look, a generator. Perfect. I could use another generator. However, I'm really here for a gas can. But there isn't one. So we'll just snatch up the metal and the generator. And I'm thinking I might make one final stop on the way home, and that is Seattle. Um, sounds a little crazy. It probably is, especially at this hour with the sun almost set completely. But since we're going to be driving right past the gas station, I'm thinking I'll slow down a little bit, look out my windows. If I see a gas can, I'll run out and snatch it up. Actually, I think I'll just pull up and run in anyway. I mean, we're in pretty good shape, right? What's the number one rule of the zombie apocalypse? Go on. I'll give you three guesses. First two don't count. Cardio! Right, cardio. There isn't a zombie alive that can outrun me. And I can run for days. Well, maybe not days, but I can run for a few seconds anyway. Although zombies never seem to get tired, do they? <laughs> That's their advantage. That's the big secret. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, gas can! No, uh, mine! Mine! Oh, 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 they're so much faster now, too. Oh, we got me. Wow, they're so, they're so fast. They are so fast. And I didn't want to make this much noise. I wanted to go in quiet like cardio, people, cardio. And headshots. Double tap, triple tap, quadruple tap. Shh. I don't think he knows where I am. Quiet. Oh, Jack. Get that Jack. Get that Jack. Get that Jack. Get that Jack. And I could use that, uh, oh, he, he saw me. Okay, I squatted, but he still, he heard it. <laughs> oh, another gas can. Uh, do I have any space? Drop the pants. Two gas cans. I told you that would be worth it. All right, are we clear? Nothing in the way. Nobody chewing on my vehicle. <laughs> I did get bit, though. But I think I'll, I'll pull through. It was not, it wasn't too serious. Now that was worth 
the stop. It, it sounded like that guy was right, right on the roof. Is there somebody up there? No? Somebody climbing my flagpole? Somebody doing a pole dance on my gas to go? Better not. I'm not that kind of guy. All right, anyway, half moon, no full moon tonight. Thank goodness. We're going to get back in one piece and probably get some sleep. So I will see you guys back at Mad Cow Island. And uh, we'll hop into bed and call it a day. Man, what a day it was. All right, here we go. Mad Cow Island Bridge Easy does it. Don't want to lose this tanker. Is somebody right on our six? Uh, not coming over the bridge, is he? No. Okay. Whew, we made it. It's Glenn. He's back. I told you Glenn was okay. And don't hit the bushes. For some reason, those bushes cause problems with vehicles. Turn off the lights. And I think I might just uh, go get some rest. I think those wounds will heal overnight if I get a good night's sleep. Okay. Let's get up there. Ooh. All right. Close that door. And I'm sleeping in. Don't wake me up, okay? All right. Good night. See you in the morning. <laughs>